Hi, my name is Mike O'Reilly, and this is my informational speech for SPD 100. Today I'd like to tell you about the Clock of the Long Now, specifically what it is, how it works, and why you should care. The Clock of the Long Now is a project to build a clock that will keep time accurately for 10,000 years. How long is 10,000 years? To give you some perspective, I've provided this breakdown of the major accomplishments in civilization over the last 10,000 years. According to the textbook Making of the West by Lynn Hunt, 10,000 years ago marked the end of the Ice Age, the rise of agriculture, and saw the world's population reach 5 million. 5,000 years ago, the first city-states developed and so did organized warfare, and the world population reached 30 million. The last thousand years have seen the greatest advances in civilization as well as population, with the world population currently at 6 billion. Now with an understanding of how far the human race has come in the last 10,000 years, try to imagine where it will be in the next 10,000 years. If you're having difficulty, you're in good company. In an interview with Wired Magazine, Danny Hillis, architect and founder of the Long Now Foundation, has admitted to the same, saying that, I cannot imagine the future, but I care about it. I know I am part of a story that starts long before I can remember and continues long beyond when anyone will remember me. I sense that I am alive at a time of important change, and I feel a responsibility to make sure that the change comes out well. The Long Now Foundation organized in 1996 around this idea that we living today have a responsibility to the future. Danny Hillis earned his bachelor's degree in mathematics as well as his master's and doctorate in electrical engineering and computer science from MIT and served as vice president of research and design for Walt Disney Imagineering. Along with co-founders author Stuart Brand and musician Brian Eno, Danny Hillis heads up the Long Now Foundation and their many projects intended to foster long-term thinking across the spectrum of human activity. Some of these projects include their seminars about long-term thinking, which are a series of monthly lectures aimed to nudge civilization towards making long-term thinking automatic and common. Also, their Rosetta project, which is designed to preserve every language facing threat of extinction in the next hundred years, and their Clock of the Long Now, which, as I mentioned before, is designed, a clock designed to keep the time for 10,000 years. The first prototype of the clock was completed in 1999 in this picture to the right. It rang just in time. It was finished just in time for the new millennium and rang twice in honor of it. And it is now on display in the Science Museum in London. The Long Now website describes the five principles used by Danny Hillis in his initial designs for the clock. The first is obviously longevity. The clock is designed to accurately keep time for the next 10,000 years with occasional human maintenance. To ensure that it is not looted or destroyed, it should contain no valuable materials such as precious metals and gemstones. Secondly, regular maintenance such as winding, cleaning, and repairing is to be expected. And due to the uncertainty of the far distant future, it should be maintainable with materials no more advanced than Bronze Age technology. Uh, third, principle is transparency, which is it should be understandable without stopping or disassembling the clock, and all functioning should be apparent upon close inspection. Also, it should be improvable over time with new features being able to be added as they come up, and to ensure that the final version, monumental version, works properly, smaller prototypes should be designed and tested. One of the critical issues of building any multi-millennial device is naturally how will it work. The clock will be mechanical, being the only design that meets the criteria of transparency. The issue of the clock has also been readily resolved. In keeping with the organization's objective of fostering long-term responsibility and a st st sustainable future, the clock will be powered by human winding, much like old clocks and pocket watches, except on an obviously much larger scale. The issue to keep it both accurate and consistent, the timing will rely on a slow mechanical oscillator reinforced by solar alignment. And the final consideration is what's going to be displayed on the clock. While they haven't fully determined what exactly will be displayed on the clock aside from the year, they have decided that it will not display the seconds, the minutes, or time, again, to reinforce the idea of long-term thinking beyond our abbreviated notion of time. 
So now that I've explained what the clock is and how it works, let's take a look at why it's being done. The clock is intended to be a monument to human achievement. The final clock, which will be between 80 and 90 feet tall, would be open to the public and would stand as the monument, much as the Statue of Liberty or Mount Rushmore. As a location for the clock, the Long Isle Foundation has purchased 180.3 acres of land near Grand Basin Natural Park in Nevada. It was chosen because of its remoteness from economic and population centers, so in the event of a war it wouldn't be damaged, destroyed, or looted. Also present on the property and another factor of consideration when they chose the location is the forest of ancient bristlecone pine trees, which are considered by many to be the oldest living organisms, uh, some of which are over 5,000 years old. The Long Now Foundation also hopes that the clock will serve as a counterbalance to the fast pace of the information age. Uh, once again, open to the public, people will be able to see that the fastest dial moves only once per day, and the slowest, which tracks the position of the stars, moves less than once every 10,000 years. Finally, the clock is intended to further the Long Now Foundation's goals of encouraging long-term thinking. This is accomplished by several aspects of the clock that inherently require planning and foresight into the distant future. First among these is the fact that the design requires complex calculations to be translated into precise mechanical motions required to be accurate to 10,000 year periods. The debate over which language the instruction manual is in will also has also raised several questions over which languages are still going to be relevant and used in 10,000 years. And the most controversial issue, which is the requisite human rewinding, has been chosen to further instill a sense of responsibility and commitment over the long term. The final monumental clock, open to the public, is intended to inspire people both in and out of the academic and political fields to think in the long term. It should now be clear that the clock of the Long Now is much more than a project of computer geeks and philosophers. The Long Now Foundation seeks to make the clock both a symbol and a catalyst for long-term thinking.